Hi, and welcome back to uh, John Cash Ministries. I'm John Cash. We are in the book of um, Romans, chapter 5. We're going to go through chapter 5, a very important uh, book in the Bible. And the Bible says we're going to be looking at verses 9 through 11. And there's a lot of stuff here. It says, Since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For if when we were God's enemies... We were reconciled to him through the death of his son. How much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Not only is this so, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we now have received reconciliation. Just going to go verse by verse there. It's a lot there. First of all, it says, since we have now been justified by his blood. And that's key. Listen. You're not justified. And when we say justified, it means found not guilty by God. When you see the word justified, what that means is you've been found not guilty. Okay? If you're not guilty, your sins are washed clean. The guilt of your sin is gone. It's placed on Jesus on the cross through his shed blood, and you go to heaven. So this is important. It says we are justified how? It says by his blood. It doesn't say we're justified by church attendance. It doesn't say we're justified because we're a deacon. It doesn't say we're justified because we're a pastor or an evangelist. It doesn't say we're justified because we were born in a Christian family. It doesn't say we were justified because we were born in America, which was, and still up to this point, is somewhat a Christian nation. It says we're justified by his blood. And folks, there's a lot of churches out there today who have gotten away from talking about the blood of Jesus. Understand this. Run from those churches. Run. We are justified by his blood, the shed blood of Jesus Christ. The Bible says that there can be no remission of sins without blood. The Bible also says that the life is in the blood. And so we need to place our faith in that shed blood of Jesus Christ. What does that mean? Well, it means first you recognize what the shed blood was all about. The fact is, is Jesus died on the cross and he bled for us. And that death on the cross, the crucifixion, is the central theme of the Christian message. Unless we place our trust in the Lord, our heart trust in the Lord, and what he did on the cross, which shed his blood, then uh, we don't do that. We do not get entrance into heaven. That's the Christian message for 2,000 years. It says, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? You see... God's wrath is real. God's wrath is against evil. It's against sin. And so the Bible says that we'll be saved from that. Then it says in verse 10, For if when we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of the Son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Interesting, it says, at one time we were God's enemies. You see, we're either, the, you're one of two things, an enemy of God, or you are a child of God, or a friend of God. In modern terms, you've friended him, kind of like the Facebook thing, but it's much more than that. What it is, is you place your life in the hands of the Lord Jesus Christ. So we're either um, a friend of his, or we are an enemy of his. We're either a servant, a slave of his, or we are an enemy of his. There's no middle ground here. There's a great fight between good and evil, between light and darkness, between Satan and, and, and God, Jehovah God. And so you can't take a middle ground here. And so it says, for if when we were God's enemies, we were reconciled, which means we were God's enemies and yet he still died for us, which is an amazing concept. Okay, Through the death of his son, how much more having been reconciled, so we are now reconciled. There's a new relationship there. The, the old animosity is gone because we placed our faith and trust in Jesus, shall we be saved through his life? It's amazing. Now watch this last one. It says, not only this, but we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. And so what that's saying is, is we should rejoice. We should be excited. We should be, um, you know, the whole concept of being born again and um, is, is an amazing concept. And what happens is if you if you're in church for a long period of time, you're a Christian for a long period of time, you might start losing that first love and that joy and the peace. 
God says we need to rejoice every day in the fact of what he did for us. That we went from being enemies of God to friends of God. 